Man, what the fuck, OBS? Okay. Are these things you are making, uh... You mean paintings identical to the other paintings, right? The closer they were, the happier father was. I was happy too. So you're quite young now. When did you begin this work? My first painting sold when I, when I was 12. Your Honor! She had no idea what she was doing... But she had no idea what she was doing was illegal. Okay. Easy, sir. That's, that's her idea. You're not here to defend her for her crime of forgery. Hmm, true. Please tell us more about this envelope. This envelope that may very well have killed your father. Alright. By other painting, you mean you'd only done paintings up to that point? Yes. The father had a realization. He noticed my talent extended to making things other than paintings. For instance? For instance, a letter someone had written. Or a fingerprint left upon a cup. Or a signature on a document. A seal upon a letter. None of this <laughs> makes her sound... None of this makes her sound very innocent at all! And this 100,000 promised in this letter was the start. It's the beginning of a new industry for Drew Mission. A new industry? It's a creation of items to be used in criminal proceedings. Forging evidence in other words. Uh-oh. Father handled the deal, all of it. I'm gonna refresh Twitch. Hold it! Hold it! So you didn't know how things you were making were being used? I enjoy painting very much. And I'm very much annoyed by this I think I understand. The Fräulein has lived in an unusual little world. Can you tell us what happened to the papers that were in this envelope? Father signed them and sent them back, I believe. Um, did he follow the instructions? Send it in the enclosed envelope with the enclosed stamp? This is a rather important matter. Give your answer some thought. Hold it. What do you mean you received it? Did I do something wrong? Oh. You didn't use that stamp because it was dangerous, correct? Deadly poison. On the back. Atroquinin. A moment to your forehead. You can't force an answer upon the witness. Now then, perhaps. You would, you would tell me, Fräulein Vera, why did you receive this stamp? something wrong it was beautiful ah you mean it was one of those commemorative stamps yes I think it was so you didn't know about the poison I guess not so the trap fell by chance, by mistake, thanks to this commemorative stamp.
Hmm, quite the close call. It was after that job that we moved to the current studio. Hold it! You mean you moved to where the current Drew studio is? Yes, we saw very few people there. I began drawing picture books. This single job that hides into the criminal underworld. I think Mr. Mission wished to reduce the visibility in the world at large. When we had to meet someone for some reason, Father poses the creator of the work. So that was the real essence of the of the artist, Drew Mission. You did the work, and he supplied the face. So, you really didn't know anything, did you? You had no idea how much danger you were in. Apparently not. About this commemorative stamp, could you tell us more about it? It was very pretty, and more than that. Yes? It was a picture of people I liked at the time. This is something new. Apparently, we've got some cross-examination yet, yet ahead of us. If you would be so kind as to continue your testimony, Fräulein. The stamp was a picture of my favorite magicians, so I kept it. Oh. M magicians? I love mysterious things. I always have. Even though she fainted when she saw Mr. Hat. You're confusing mysterious with freaky. Father took me when I was very young. It was a great magic show. I loved it so much. See? See? Isn't magic great? Fine, great, yeah, sure. No need to get all excited. But the magic troop we saw disbanded soon after. I was quite sad. Did she just say what I think she just said? Magic troop? Where have I had where, where have I heard that before? The red envelope came after she completed her first job. That makes it a letter from her client, whoever wanted a forgery maid. Apollo! We're close, we just have to piece together the parts. A deadly weapon in a red envelope. And the path it took to take Drew Mission's life. I created things and Father sold them. Okay. Father handled the deal. All of it. Thanks for drawing again. I received the stamp that was in the envelope. It was after that job we moved to the current studio. The stamp was a picture of my favorite magician, so I kept it. Do I have to... Like, present... This? Objection! objection! It's not an objection, it's just... It's, um... It's confirmation! Those magicians you liked, was it this bunch? Apollo, they're not a bunch! Hmm, I see. Still, I have to wonder. Why include a commemorative stamp like that in a bu business letter? Good question. Good question. Well, pretty stamps are always better. And you can't be true Grammarai. But the whole murder plan was a failure because of it. Ironic, don't you think? Prosecutor Gavin? Prosecutor Gavin? Gram... Gram... Grammarai? What's with Gavin? Might I ask just one question of this witness? In your testimony just now, you stated This was your first work that was on other than, than a painting? Please tell me! What exactly did you make? Can I ask why? No! Answer the question! Now! <laughs> Prosecutor Gavin? You're usually not the one whose, whose volume concerns me. Yes, it's unbecoming of me. I apologize. But I must know. Please, Miss Misham, tell me. 
It was a book. A single page in a book. A book? Please be more specific. It was a handwritten book. Like, like a diary. Mm. No! I don't know! What's wrong with Prosecutor Gavin? He looks like he just saw a ghost. Miss Misham, this book. Was there a picture of a silk hat on the back cover? Yes or no? How... how did you know? I'm sorry, I'm opening a page. So... Sound is a bit wonky. Prosecutor Gavin, the defendant is answering all of your questions! Stop badgering her! He's told you nothing, has he? The soiled, solid mentor? Nothing? Solid who? Phoenix Wright, who else? Daddy! He never told you about the tile seven years ago? About how he came to lose his attorney's badge? There was a certain piece of evidence beside his fate, you know. A certain diary. On the back it bore the mark of a silk hat. <gasps> what?! Phoenix Wright tossed out of the profession by false evidence. And the forger who made that evidence? Is this girl standing right in front of me?! Fairy, you must tell us! The evidence you made was used in a trial sev seven years ago. Who asked Drew Misham you to forge that evidence? For all of our sakes, who was it? We only met once. You met the client? Well, who was it? It was... It was... What's going on with Vera? She's staring at Prosecutor Gavin's face again. Yes, Fat, is there something about me? I remember clearly. I remember who gave me the book, the diary. Who was it? Ah! Uh -huh. uh, Vera! Defendant Vera Misham, condition unconscious. Examiner's diagnosis, acute atrocinin poisoning. This ends recording. This ends the recording of the trial for the murder of Drew Misham. Vera Misham was, during the trial, poisoned by an unknown assailant. The dosage was just under the lethal amount, sparing the defendant's life. He's currently in intensive care and is not to be disturbed for any reason. A very simple case, at first glance, until it finally began to show its true colors. The long road to the truth takes us to the record of another trial. In some ways, that was the starting point of it all. And that is where we must go. To find the whole truth. To be continued. So this is where I'm going to cut the episodes off. I'm not going to be taking a big break, just like a few seconds, uh, just to separate this from the next episode.